the university is trying to pull in on the people who are moving of Mama Kakawa, the Sunday Governors of Warriors. We would like to welcome also here the partner of Lula, that is the victory of the Sunday Governors, you are the workman, and Lydia Hall and the Lord Sarah. To preserve the nomenclature and correct pronunciation of the Hawaiian language. The Daughters of Hawaii, the Kauai and Nihau chapter, as expressed today, was formed in 2014. And attending, we have Rua Mohala Kahola Pula, Lei Hibilani Kirkpatrick, and Mammy Smith Chalk, Aloha, Daughters of Hawaii. Yesterday, before I went to the airport in Honolulu, I was asked to stop by to pick up this gift for all of you. It's a proclamation from Her Royal Highness, and I'd like to read this proclamation to all of you from Her Royal Highness Princess Abigail Kinuiki Kekawiki Kamanamakua, and it's a royal proclamation. It is with great pleasure that we commemorate the life of King Kaunawali, a peacemaker of his time, and the last sovereign of an independent kingdom of Kauai. His is a legacy of distinguished nobility, 
in whom flows the chiefly essence of Dora Iamano Kalanipo and Mahalo Apigilani. His is a legacy of nobleness, of liege, love for his chiefs, his people, and his Aina. We loved as the grandchildren of Kolumuali, our great grand aunts, Her Majesty Queen Kopi Omani, and Her Royal Highness Princess Virginia Kapukuloku and our great grandmother and namesake, Her Royal Highness Princess Mary Kimuli her children, High Chief Jolakuhi Okalanyanapone, and the High Chief is Kimuliki the daughter of Ni Opito Rank for King Kogoli. As a direct lineal descendant of King Kogoli, and as a matter of great personal joy, we, Royal Family of Hawaii, extend our highest commendation to all who have contributed to this noble endeavor. Whereas, Alifa, Kapelu Kabahini Honolio, Oli Honolua Goodwin Kauhi, has honored her father, William Kapahu Kaliolo, with a great request to memorialize King Kaoli. And whereas, the Friends of Kaoli was first organized in 1999 to erect the statue Whereas the notable Hawaiian artist, Brooke, the peculiarly Parker's painting of Gomoli, became the spark of inspiration for Alita Gomoli Gomoli and her friend, Barbara Bennett, who reorganized the Friends of Gomoli in 2012 to pursue an awareness campaign about King Gomoli. And whereas the community support provided by the Kawaii Hindu Monastery to print a thousand cards and posters of Brooke Parker's painting to promote the awareness campaign about King Kamuli. And whereas the leadership support of Mr. William R. Kaki, Kawaii Department of Education Superintendent, to distribute the historical timeline of Kamuli's life to every classroom, public, private, and child. And whereas, brother of the Hawaiian race. We'll have to tell that story one day. One thing this side of the island is well known for is when the dry dust begins to blow. We use the word ehu lepo. That means dirt that's flying in the air. And we call sea spray ehu kai, which means kai means ocean. 
and Ehu is kind of spray spread. Oh, that's a pahu drum. Their lay papagi. That means the lay that are on top of their head. Those are made from how bush. That's what. When we say grass skirt, they usually, that's the inner bark of a how bush tree, which is similar to, well, it's similar to hibiscus. So the inner bark is used. And uh, I got a set of those at home. Hands, neck, feet, and the yellow lay that you see on these are the feather lay. And it wasn't joking, they cost money. One thing I'm going to say is, if they're coming on after the keynote speaker, that's discipline. That's what our Hula School used to do. When you go up here to Kokei, which and Waimea Canyon, it's just beyond those hills. Yuka, we say, up mountain. Um, you perform in a field. It's a little cooler because it's higher elevations, but you get dressed and you stay dressed and you are ready to dance. Instruments, laid, and all. That's discipline. That's a fiber skirt as opposed to, well, we actually call them pahu. A pahu skirt is what you wear for hula. In some cases, like our halal, our school, we would wear at the very least three cloth skirts and then a fiber skirt. Not ancient hula, that's hula kahiko. Oh, did you see the ehu lepo there? Yeah. Okay. Who nui kamakani no hoi. Uh, level. Alrighty. I do get to go and sit over at the royal tent. Alright, here comes the Hello Hula. And they're going to be dancing. Dance Hula Kahiko, which is traditional Hula. Oh, this is Kumulina Ala. She used a chant that I wrote one year at Kiki Hula, and they came in first place. That that was just an entrance chant. Um, these guys just won first place at Mary Monarch, which is the biggest hula competition in Hawaii. So, it, this is an honor and a privilege to be able to see this. Um, yes, so. Actually, Kumu Lena Ala and I are both UH Hilo alumni, and um, her Kumu Hula is from Hilo. Mr. Ray Fonseca from Hala Hula o Kahiki Laulani. So, the Haubush Lei Papahi that they that's very indicative of her teacher's style. So if you know these kinds of things about who their kumuhula are, you can see what's passed down from generation to generation. The lei are made with exquisite detail, preciseness. They look sharp, beautiful, and everything fits into a theme in hula. Oh, so you know what happened was I had I write my own chants 
for my own students when I was teaching Hawaiian language. So I guess students brought it to her, you know, scouting for scouting for good for material to use that incorporates place names or people's names, which that was the chant I chanted the other night at the ancestries. And it mentions uh, uh, ancient, ancient chief in addition to Wali'i and his mother, Kamaka Hile. And uh, I think I already put that stuff from my Kumuhula name that middle school. Kamaka Hile Middle School was for the contest because I think he also gave the name for King Kamuali'i, which is the elementary school. Alrighty. So, boy, this is chock full of history lessons. Just come on over to Kumini Kala's classroom. All right, let's watch some hula. Now, Kumulena Ala is wearing a lei hulu, uh, a lei papahi, lei uh, hulu, which is the feather lei. They are the highest ranking lei that you can receive, so anytime you wear them, they go on top of anything that's a fresh lei. Or any type of lei. Those lei go on top of anything. This is Kaulilui, and I did the video for Kaumu website using this. By our Kumuhula singing. The interesting thing since we got walker buys is that this mele hula when it's performed many of them are very similar my kumu hula and his hula brothers that had their own halal theirs was i mean 99 percent exactly like our version so there are different versions but they're very slight in difference you know Because of its abundance of fresh water. 